What if I told you there was a dedicated, cruelty-free, vegan fragrance brand, and their stuff is banging? Let's roll that intro music and let me break you off something proper. Kieran NYC is bringing that heat, but first of all, if you're one of those vegans who doesn't believe in grooming or showering, I don't know, wiping, then by all means, skip the next couple videos because this is not for you. That kind of stuff doesn't fly around here. Y'all know what time it is. So if you're looking to smell banging, if you're looking to love the way that you smell, then you definitely want to check out Kieran NYC. You see guys, this is a smaller company that is dedicated, cruelty-free, vegan. They're all about sustainable ingredients. And to be honest, I haven't seen a lot of other vegan influencers in the community talk about this. So I want to put you onto this game. This is another level of the game where it's really about loving the way that you smell. When you're talking about the house of Kieran NYC, what you need to understand is that some of these fragrances lean a bit more subtle and some of them are straight up beast mode. So in my book, these fragrances range in application from Giga Chad all the way down to like Homegirl with the dreadlocks, but you're gonna have to find out which fragrances fit your personality the best. So that's why when I found out that this company was vegan and cruelty free, I just immediately purchased their discovery kit, which has samples of all of their fragrances, including their newest one, which is not in the kit, but they included it when I purchased the discovery kit, which was about 20 bucks. So for 20 bucks, I got access to smell and experience all of their fragrances on me, find out how it projected, how long they last, and really just get a feel for the house and what they're all about. Real talk, I've always been the kind of guy who doesn't care what anybody else thinks. So I wear fragrance because I like the way it makes me smell and the way it makes me feel, not to try to impress somebody else or to try to get somebody's attention. That's the mindset I come into this with, but I've also always been a little bit apprehensive, uncomfortable buying some of the more mainstream fragrance brands and some of the niche houses that are out there because you don't know what's in that stuff. and you gotta assume that most of those companies are testing on animals. So it comes down to, you know, where do you wanna spend your money and you vote with your dollars? What are you gonna do? So that being said, I'm not gonna sit here and try to sell you guys on every single fragrance that this house has to offer, but I'm gonna show you which fragrances I felt like were worth copping the full bottles of for me because I liked them so much. So if I think it's straight fire, then I'm gonna share with you guys what I think is the straight fire, and then y'all can either get the discovery kit or check out some of these fragrances individually on your own. All right, y'all, first up, my favorite is Santal Sky, which is like a better, more affordable version of Le Labo Santal 33. Think sandalwood and saffron. Yeah, it's good. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna definitely do a dedicated video on this fragrance because it's solid and it's been getting a lot of play over the last month. But some vegans try to be like, I only rock pure essential oils. Like, let me be real with you guys. I had a box of high-end, expensive, niche essential oils, all those brands you know about, I'm not gonna name names, but it was they were all expensive and they don't last or project or have any sillage when you put them on your body. Whether you use carrier oils or you put them directly on your skin, which you can't even do with a bunch of those essential oils, they just don't last. I mean, you step outside for 20 minutes and, and it's gone, it's gone. So with Santal 33, dude, I get like eight hours on this fragrance. It's awesome, it's solid. And I've been rocking this hard yeah, I've been rocking this hard for the last month. This is my scent of the day. And uh, yeah, the application for this one is wide ranging. So this is gonna be my top pick. Definitely my favorite one from the house right here, guys. Next up is one of the more subtle fragrances. This is Sunday Brunch by Kieran MYC. It's got a clean citrus opening with a beautiful dry down into this tea note that I really dig. It kind of reminds me of uh, El Jardin Sur La Nil by Hermes, which I don't know if any of you guys have smelled that, but this is a solid chill fragrance, safe for multiple sprays. 
Uh, definitely not gonna offend anyone, like some of those heavy designer fragrances that are out there. Yeah, that citrus and tea vibe, really perfect for chilling with some friends on a Sunday. I like this one a lot. After checking out their discovery kit and seeing what works best with my vibe, I picked up full bottles of Santal Sky and Sunday Brunch. But I'm also still leaning towards maybe picking up a bottle of the 10 a.m. Flirt, which kind of has these daytime sex vibes. <laughs> like, just call it like I see it. It's pretty good. And then uh, the other one that I liked was their newest fragrance called Rose Ink, which in my book, it has kind of this badass bitch vibe. So I don't know if I could pull it off on a regular basis, but I'm still thinking about that one. I mean, I've worn the hell out of some Black Orchid, and if you know, then you know.